is Brittany. So today's going to be a quick spoiler free Scream 5 review. And so me and my sister recently saw Scream 5 today. And wow, it's, I have to say, it's amazing. You know, the, the way the directors did this movie, did a whole new take on it and yeah everything about it is just like great it's so intense and scary and there are brutal horrific moments and there are sad moments that I will say um and uh whenever I now when I do see a new movie um, I don't want to give anything away, especially if it comes out in theaters, you know, just because I know there's a lot of people that don't like spoilers, including me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't like spoilers either. Like, if I haven't seen a movie and someone's kind of spoiling it by saying certain parts that happen, like, oh, no, 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 I'm going to pretend I'm not hearing this and I just want to see it for myself. So yeah so don't worry I'm not gonna give anything away and for those who want to see it go see it this is worth the wait you know of how long we've been waiting for this one to come out and it's worth the watch too like it I want to say it will really keep you on the edge of your seat and <laughs> cuz uh, yeah during this one now this is the first, very first Scream movie I got to saw in a movie theater because I never saw one, two, three, or four in theaters before. But um, you know, with this one I did, and it was quite an experience. It's so different than watching it at home. You know it is now of course I I still love watching the screen movies even right at my home right in my room on my TV um, you know it's still of course a good experience even just watching movies right at your home on your TV and turn it up real loud and get to really enjoy it and be entertained you know it, it, that's also great too but even to experience it the first time in a movie theater you know that's like that's something and to really watch this in the theater was just great and yeah and um now of course watching it i just kept thinking okay i don't know who the killer is i don't know what's gonna um happen or what's going to be revealed so I you know I'm completely clueless I have no idea at all and yeah I think there are some fans who are probably had some theories maybe on some characters and maybe had some ideas to who and what could happen I and mean, even though they were good theories and probably good maybe guesses on who could it be or what could happen or who's gonna die who's gonna survive even though those are good theories and probably very good guesses at the same time I I couldn't come up with anything with me I I remember just thinking like well like and if I try to guess on who I could be completely wrong and um, not only that but it's like I I have no idea so you know I just thought okay well there might be some really good theories that either might be true or somewhat true but it's like at this point I really don't know so it's like uh you know what I mean like okay see it <laughs> And, you know, of course, then whatever will happen, you know, then it will, then I'll see what I'll get to see. So, 
Yes, um, I have to say with the writers and the directors, um, directors, uh, the way they wrote and directed this movie, and even with the cast, they all did an amazing job. Because <laughs> for for them to pull this off, it was just um, incredible, and I did not expect to see certain parts. I think because they considering um with the tv spots and even the uh trailers since some of them were kind of like misdirections and probably some scenes where we thought okay we might see this in the movie but then again we may not it might be completely something else so so of course even seeing the trailers i'm like uh yeah th this could happen but i don't know maybe now we may not even see this we may see something else since you know those TV spots and um, trailers were were misdirections, so, but for a reason, so that way the the story won't be leaked, you know, through the internet. Um, so yeah, they had to like shoot some additional scenes, you know, to really, you know, for the story not to be leaked, you know, before the movie release, and and that way for those who will see it, you know. It, it won't be spoiled to, oh, what we already know now because of the trailer, you know? So, you know, they had to misdirect the trailer and to mis misdirect us, the fans, for a reason, uh, to confuse us. So that way, once we go see it, then we'll get to see what will be unfold and what will be revealed and certain things we either may suspect or not you know what I mean <laughs> uh, so so anyway um, now the kill scenes in this one are brutal and Ghostface in, in this one yes uh, Ghostface is in fact brutal in this one and this this one in particular is quite dark not just Ghostface himself um, but also the story and the things that happen within the story and it's just yeah and it's very bold like even Ghostface is quite bold in this one which I would say and there are some things that Ghostface does which I'm like oh you know like I, I really don't want to say now there are some characters I won't say specifically I will not there are some characters that do get killed off and there are some you will feel bad for and you will feel very sad for them. I will say that, I, but I do think one in particular is so heartbreaking, especially for those who really like this character and this that this character in particular is also probably... Um, a fan favorite to to the fans um, within the franchise like this kill scene in particular is so uh, brutal and heartbreaking to watch and I gotta be honest but during that I was just um, I'm not gonna say who you could probably guess um, but with this one I was just me and my sister and I, we were both just like, uh, we were screaming. We were screaming out of, you know, you know, horror of seeing that. But at the same time, we were also uh, uh, screaming and crying hard. And the the way this certain character's death scene happened, I did not know how it would go down or how it would, you know, go and it and have in such a way that I did not expect it to be so like like really hard to watch, you know what I mean? And it was just completely heartbreaking, but again, I'm not gonna say who. You might guess. Maybe, but I'm just not gonna say. But wow, 
Yeah, I would say there will be that moment within that movie where you, you yourself might be, end up screaming and crying hard at the same time. That, that was something that's like, oh. Um, and then, you know, of course, uh, now Sam in this movie, she is the, the main character just like how Sydney was in the first one. So she's kind of like um, the main character. Well, she is. But in a way, she's almost like Sydney Prescott in a way, you know, because of things that she went through, but although quite different. So she's kind of like uh, the, the new Sydney in this one, as you can say. But of course, she's not really taking her place. Um, she's not really replacing her, but you know, in a way, it's kind of like that. Um, but yeah, there are some things she is going through, and there is something, there is something that you see of what she, what she's going through. I'm not gonna say what it is, but when you see it, you are gonna be quite shocked. Cause when I saw of what she was going through, and just pretty much how she's like. Like, this, this is like a secret she is dealing with on her own. I'll just say that. It's a secret. It's a secret she's dealing with on her own. And this secret is to be revealed at least somewhat. Well, not somewhat, but a bit early within the movie. And once it is revealed, you are going to be shocked. Because when I found this out, I was shocked. I'm like, whoa, what? Like, okay, you gotta be kidding me. Now, of course, <laughs> uh, I like I said, I was shocked, but I was like, oh, oh, okay. But, but yeah, at the same time, I thought, um, there were still like other things and questions going through my mind. But yeah, s seeing how she's like dealing uh, with this secret that she has. Um, it's like she, I can't really say, but you'll see it for yourself <laughs> once you see it. Now for those who have seen it and you're seeing this, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually really did enjoy it. I actually really liked it. And, um, I would have to say this one's probably like my new favorite screen movie because all of them are my favorite so this one they did so well and they pulled it off really well um you know with everything the story and certain things that were revealed and pretty much everything that they did was just great but also terrifying and some really sad parts in it and even the music itself along with those sad parts will make you feel even more sad so even the music is great the cast is great and the writing the story the and the way this movie took to a whole different direction and it does you do feel that somehow when you watch this you'll get the same feeling like you did with the first one so that's pretty much what i got from it too you know like a familiar feeling but at the same time uh, it's also new because you get this uh, story with the characters along with the um, you know original cast and I think uh, that's just great like it's a familiar feeling but at the same time quite new of where it's going so I, I would have to say after seeing this it was quite an experience like even the parts where I felt really tense because it was um <laughs> scary, it, I was on the edge of my seat, and because of that, <laughs> I have some popcorn with me, but I couldn't finish the popcorn, only because I felt so scared, like anxious and so tense that I just was like sitting in my seat, I'm like, <sighs> you know, because I'm like, okay. I don't know what's gonna happen like 
and so you know i'm just like so anxious that i don't know what's gonna happen so i was really really on the edge of my seat so they did a did a good job with that and i i think to me um that the ending was done well and even the reveals you know were no it of course they, they were shocking but at the same time i also had a feeling like somehow i kind of suspected some of those characters that happened to be revealed later at the end so even though i was like shocked of the of who it was but at the same time i thought i was kind of having a feeling about that like somehow I wasn't I wasn't too sure what to think of them like okay do I really completely trust them or should I not and see just how this goes you know but at the same time like I don't know I don't get a good feeling about you know whoever it was and once it was revealed I'm like oh gosh you know like yes I was shocked but at the same time I had that gut feeling like I don't trust them you know there's something off about them so now of course you know you may get that feeling with some of the characters like some of them there are some that are which you'll see but then most of them are not and then you're like oh but you know that's what happens because you have to at least suspect any of the characters because if you completely trust the characters and they turn out to be who you're who they're not of what you think they are then you're gonna be completely thrown off and be like whoa what so yeah there are some characters where i was like okay i don't know what's going on i don't know who it is exactly but there are some that i don't quite get a good feeling about so yeah i pretty much will just say that um and I just want to say that I really did enjoy this movie and like I said this was quite an experience and I think this one really like I said really had me on the edge of my seat I was pretty much during those parts of Ghostface like sneaking up and doing what he does it's like it even with even just before Ghostface shows up and you know it's going to lead to that, those parts in particular just had me really felt like anxious and tense and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like I really felt that. And of course there are parts that happened where I was just like screaming and believe me, I was screaming loud, but there was no one else in the theater, it was just... Um, you know me and my sister and of course someone else came into the theater later towards the ending but still even if the theater was filled with a lot of people I still would have been screaming loud I still would have you know that wouldn't change it <laughs> so anyway now it was a fun a very scary intense and also sad, um, you know, moments within the movie, but it was also quite a very, like, mind-blowing experience, and I'll just say that. And, um, yeah, and for those who want to see it, I recommend it, and if you do, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and as much as everyone else did. <laughs> so, that's all for today. And I'll see you at the movies.